All right, the flower. <clears throat> Punched out my inch and a half circle. All right. And so for this one, I'm going to spray it last. So I just cut the dry sheet. <clears throat> I just fold the dry sheet in half. Love these scissors of death. <laughs> cut it in half. I'm going to cut it in half again. All I'm doing is making um, squares. And of course, cut it in half again. So, got squares. That's all. I hope I'm in frame. I thought it would be easier for me, especially since I'm standing up looking directly on my iPad screen right here. So these are all the things out of one dry sheet. <clears throat> so how are you going to make this flower right here? See that? This is what I'm going to show you that was asked of me. All right. So... We have the square. We're going to take it in one corner up to the next corner. So, my hands are sticky from the spray, y'all. I'm sorry. So, we're going to go corner to corner. Then I'm going to fold it in half. See that? And then I'm going to take it and fold it again. And so... What I do is just put a little glue in the middle and a little on the back. <clears throat> Take my circle, my little triangle piece, and press it down. I don't have my <clears throat> glue on my little piece to put on my thumb because I don't film in my room. This is not my scrap room. This is just the place I film at. I forgot my little, to keep me from getting burnt. <clears throat> All right. Again. We have the square. We're going to go up to the peak, to the tip. We're going to fold it in so that it meets. So then you will have that. And we're going to take this in and we're going to fold it again for the little point. You want the little triangle at the bottom. I put a little glue in here, <clears throat> a little in, just like fabric for all flowers you've seen. And then, like so. Seeing like my lights are too bright. <clears throat> are they? Let me change them. See. All right. So I'm gonna keep on going. <clears throat> Just in case the light was distracting. Right here, tip to tip. Want them to match. Okay. Then we're gonna fold in right here so that it matches on the this side now all right then we're going to take this tip we're going to fold it in boom 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 do the same thing with fabric i do the same my fabric flowers the same way <clears throat> and then i'm going to put it right here okay Ooh, these lights hot. <clears throat> All right, let's do it again. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to finish this one up right here, over here. Pointy tip. Make it even. Pinwheel action. Same thing. And I think I promised some other people tutorials too on stuff, but um my memory is so bad I forgot and then I was scared. <clears throat> but again, new season, honey. New season. So what have you guys been up to? Let me know. Get my peek. Boom. 
Oh, this is already 12 minutes. Okay, let me try to speed this on up. All right. And my last one. In the middle of the that gospel that song is playing in my head. In the middle of it. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is the flower. <clears throat> of course, when I did this one, I didn't put but just a tab of glue on it so it can be poofy. So if that's the case, if that's what you want to do, uh <clears throat> just unpress so firmly. Okay, so now since the flower is made. Okay, the flower, the basis of this flower is made. Now, say that you want to do like this one. You want to have, so I went from a single layer right here to this double layer one. All you're doing is the same thing, but you are alternating petals. So, for example, where this gap is at, Instead of me putting another petal right on this one, I will put it right here. And I don't think this is going to be enough for. Um, no, it's not going to be enough for another one. <clears throat> like I said, you will just put a petal here. Then you will alternate here. Here. And then... It's going to be like that. All right. So if you have any more questions on that, just let me know and I'll answer. Now we're going back to the bag. <clears throat> and we're going to um, spray this now that the flower is complete. Really well. And if the center that you want to put in, in here... Um, you can put the center in before or after. I opted to do after on this one. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to put it back in the middle of this. And there you have it. <clears throat> this is the flower. This is the flower right here. Let me cut this right here, which is the same as this one. Same exact flower. This one was more precise. This one I was rushing. Because I had, I didn't have no mojo, so it came at the last minute. So, like I said, with this one, I just didn't press it tight like I did this one. And you would just put your center in the middle. Well, let me see. <clears throat> hate the complete stuff. This is my favorite color. No, let me pull that up. Mm -mm. Give me a white one. Here we go. <clears throat> there we go. <sighs> now I can rest. Okay. So here we go. And as you can see. Looks just like the other one. Um, except the um stamping up one has more silver, it has silver glitter in it. The Martha Stood one has just one color, which is still gorgeous, by the way. And I I was trying to find it's a glitter that I bought from either Hobby Lobby or Michael. It looks exactly like the Stampin' Up glitter. 
Um, but I can't find it. <clears throat> because I hadn't played with glitters in a long time. And normally once I stop dealing with some, I put it up and I don't think about it. So I have to dig it back out. But anyway, there you guys go. That's how I did the flower. And that's how I did the um the background for your card for my cards. And like I said, you can see the difference between the Stampin' Up one and the Martha Stewart one. Both are gorgeous. It depends on which um, look you are going for. So I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. And like I said, um, hopefully this won't be the last one. I'm going to continue to try to push myself to keep on coming out of my L comfort zone. All right? Because, yeah. Oh, I didn't say it before. But y'all know I didn't come up with this. This has been around forever. Not my idea. I don't know who came up with it, but it wasn't me. All right, that is it. Bye-bye, you guys.